Okay, guys, this is take two. So I hope that you're able to see this screen. And um, if you are interested in viewing the content from earlier, just um, go to the T, just search on Twitter, not, well, on Twitter or on Facebook for TSMRI. But my name is Dr. Jennifer Edwards. I'm at Tarleton State University and I love social media. So today I am highlighting how to use the Twitter advanced search and also how to respond to in a crisis um, when you are on social media. So it's a neat way so that you can um, figure out best practices. Okay, so I'm sharing this and I encourage you to share this as well. And let's see if I can share that tweet. Okay. Okay, so we are sharing this tweet. I promise, guys, I'm working on it. I'm working on it. Okay, there we are. So I'm sharing this on Twitter, so anyone who wants to tune in can tune in. All right, so hashtag social media, hashtag social mobile tech, hashtag kick social strategies, and I'll add one more, hashtag crisis communication. All right. Okay, so we just shared that with potential viewers, anyone who's interested in viewing. And let's dive in. So let's look at the Twitter advanced search. The easiest way to get to it is I just always go to Google and I will just go, just type in Twitter advanced search. It's a neat way for you to basically determine how, let's see, here we are. Come on, computer, you can do it. All right, so it's a great way for you to determine um, the tweets that you want to see. So if I look at all, you can search by all of these words, you can search by an exact phrase, any of these words, none of these words, these hashtags. So if you wanted to search for, um, goodness, PX social media, then you could search for that hashtag and all of the tweets that are posted between X date and Y date, and so a little calendar pops up with that hashtag, you can do that. And also you can search for tweets via a certain language, so you can do that as well. Um, you can also search for tweets originated, originating from these accounts that they've sent to these accounts. So basically from TSMRI to, um, let's just say to DRJT Edwards. So let's do that. So from TSMRI to DRJT Edwards that mentions, I don't know, let's see. Let's see how many come up. Oh, wow, it's pulling in tweets from 2015 and 2016. Okay, also, you can look at any of the recent tweets from TSMRI that included a reply to me. So you can see like in this space, you can see that that tweet was a reply to, to me. All right, so next, let's go back to the advanced search and very quickly, I will show you, goodness, he's clapping, isn't he? Um, you can search for tweets via a certain location or a zip code, um, or sometimes depending on the search, you can look for tweets via like a certain neighborhood. So you can do that as well. But what I did is I looked for tweets that, okay, I'll turn that off. There we are. I look for tweets that were posted between the, you have to back it up a date, but between the 1st of October, so that's why I put November the 30th until the 5th of October from United, because this is a group that chose United Airlines in their, um, their strategy. So um, these are all of the tweets that occurred between that time frame. And I always go to latest instead of top, because if you go to top, those are the ones that basically you want to, I don't know, I was not following them, that you 
want to make sure that you see all of them. So these are like only the top tweets and these are the tweets that are represent all of the tweets. You can also break that down to language quality filter. I'll turn that off and then also from anyone and then that originates from anywhere. So you can look for near you or whatever you decide to do. So what I did, I highlighted all the tweets and I'm not going to do that today, but I highlighted all the tweets and I put them on this spreadsheet. So let me bring up the spreadsheet in another window and I will drag it over here. So let's look at, I'm on Google Drive in another window and I am looking at the data analysis for Target. I'm not Target, I'll show you Target in a, in a minute. But I will show you the data analysis for, it's slow, but it's going, for United. So what I did is that you have the tabs up here. So this represents demographics and engagement. So this represents number of tweets, number of retweets, number of likes, number of replies included like a crisis hashtag. So say if it included like some, if there was a hurricane included general hashtags and also if there is a language focused tweet. So say if United Airlines posted a response in Spanish or posted a response in Chinese, that would be highlighted here. Also, if a tweet focused on public anxiety, or these are the crisis, according to research, these are like the primary purpose of tweets during a crisis. So is it to address public anxiety? Is it to provide updates and information to the public? Or is it to foster relationships with communities during crisis situations? So if they want to let the people of Texas know that everything's okay, you know, if, when we have another hurricane or if we had a hurricane. Also, call to action. So did they um, state, send us an email, send us a direct message, um, things of that nature, or a phone call. I'll include phone call on here. Another piece is um, customer service. So did they state that they will be able to help? Did they state the words, sorry, for or, or, or we know that this is a frustrating experience? Um, did they include like a tracking number or order number or it, did they reply um, that you need to submit your confirmation number? Did they um, state to resolve it, they will rebook it or reship the product? And um, so those are some things to think about whenever you're looking at the data. So I am, and you guys, this is not a crazy process. I promise it is not super crazy. So because um, I have old eyes, guys, I will actually make this, um, well, it's okay. I hope you guys can see that. But I wanted to make this a little bit larger <laughs> so I can see it. All right, so basically these columns at the top are frozen and these col this column is frozen as well. So one and two are frozen. So even if you scroll down to the last column or the last row, these are going to remain the same. And so this column is frozen. So even if you scroll over all the way to the side, that column is frozen as well. All right. So one thing I will also do, just in case you don't know a lot about Excel and you guys, I'm learning every single day, but because I change things every single day, um, this is called a, a wrap. So you make sure that this text goes back over here. So that's an easy way to do that. So you learned something new today, yay. So you're looking at one day's worth of tweets from United Airlines. So I would suggest that you guys divide this up amongst your group members. So say if you have four group members, you divide up the amount of, of, of tweets. Um, one easy way to do this is um, all of these tweets mentioned October the 1st. So I am just going to look at my keyboard. I'm pressing Control and F. This little thing pops up here in the upper left, upper right hand corner, and I just need to type in OCT. So there are 331 tweets on that one day in October, which is amazing but crazy at the same time. But if you have four group members, this will not take you guys a long time. So um, let me show you what we are going to do. All right, so this is the first tweet. And it says, we will continue with you there. So just put a one here to represent that this is one tweet. Um, this is not a, a retweet. They didn't retweet anything, so you don't add anything there. This tweet 
received one reply. It did not receive, as you can see, like right here, it did not receive any likes. It did not receive any retweets, but it did receive one reply. So one reply, it did not include a hashtag of any sort, and it is in English. And then um, for public anxiety, no, it's not providing updates. And it's, yes, it is providing updates and information to the public because they are stating that they will, um, will reach out to this person um, via, and I'm assuming that is telephone, or a direct message, so there we go. And it does state that they will will continue with them there, so it's a help-based tweet. So it's not, they did mention email, they did not mention a direct message, they did not mention a phone um, piece, so they said that they will continue with them, but we don't know whether it's on phone or direct message. It is a help-focused tweet that they are helping, but it does not mention a tracking number or rebooking or anything of that nature. So we just analyzed our first tweet. So one down, like 300 more to go. We're not going to do that all today, but I'm just giving you guys some, an example. Here's the second tweet. So this tweet, um, this is one. So this, all of these are going to represent, um, you just type in one here. Um, you will not type in two anywhere. You'll, you will just type in one during every column. This is, did not receive any retweets, any likes, any replies. Remember, I'm looking right here. Um, it did not have a crisis hashtag, not a general. It is in English. Um, let's see. Thanks for reaching out. Please DM us your confirmation number. So it is providing updates for, for Phil, whoever Phil is. Um, it says DM, so it did not mention an email. So we're going to put a one by direct message. And also, it did mention a confirmation number. So it says book or reship. So that is a order number or confirmation number. And one thing I will also put over here is name or initials. I hope that's spelled correctly because I cannot see. I -N -T -N. Okay, there we are. And initials. So we're going to put that there. And also this one included initials as well. Okay, then um, let's go on to one more. And this one says, Thank, thanks for sharing this with us, Matt. We're always open to new ideas and appreciate your feedback. So that tweet re did receive one like, I'm looking right here. And then it did not receive any replies, no hashtags. Um, it's not really a crisis focused tweet, but they are, um, they are following up with them. Um, and for this one, hmm, let's see. So I will also include to the right, insert row, come on, Excel, insert column to the right. And I will include that this one also included um, suggestion. So there we go for suggestions. Okay, so next we have Matt. Oops, add a suggestion. I want to make sure that I included the other one in the right place. That was not a suggestion because this one is line 18. And let's look at one more. Okay, so number of tweets, one. You always put a one in this column because at the near end, we will calculate how many tweets they had. We kind of know, I think it's like 310, but just to verify. So that one represents one tweet. It did not receive any retweets, no likes, no replies. It also did not include a crisis hashtag, nothing of that nature. It's not, let's see, it did not, it did provide updates and information to the public. So you can consider this one to be a default if it's a crisis. And it says DM, so DM is a direct message. And also I will put that in parentheses, a DM. And this one says confirmation number, confirmation number right here. And also just to help everyone out, I'll put confirmation number. And every time I press enter, it takes me 
it does not take me back to that tweet, but that's okay. And confirmation number, awesome. And that's it. Oh, does it include an initial? This one does not include an initial, so interesting. So we are going to basically calculate how many of those tweets did or did not include an initial. Okay, um, and here's one more. So hopefully you guys get the gist, but that's one for, that represents one tweet. It did receive a reply. It did not receive a hashtag, or it did not include a hashtag. It is in English. Um, that would be considered to be public anxiety because they did state that delays are never our goal. So I'm assuming that that's, you know, um, they said that they were working to resolve the problem. Also, it's providing updates and it did not state that they are going to follow back up with him. So it's not really fostering a relationship. Then um, this, they did not mention DM. They did not mention phone call. They did not mention any help. They did mention the word sorry. So there we go. Um, it did not include anything regarding a tracking number. It did, let's see, it did not include any suggestions and it did include an initial. But if I'm missing something, you guys just let me know because um, this is uh, a way that companies, and we're actually going to send this to the companies. So um, this is focused on how companies can use social media to foster relationships during a crisis situation. Um, and let me tell you how important this, this is. So we just had a new cupcake place open in Granbury and I'm gluten free. So I wanted to figure out if that cupcake place had gluten free cupcakes because I didn't want to show up and then, you know, not be able to buy anything, especially when it, if you're in a cupcake store, you want cupcakes. So with the, with the cupcake place, I DM them or direct message them on Facebook and they had an instant reply. So they said that they would get back to me um, within the hour and they did. And they stated that they did have gluten-free options. So I'm super excited. So that's my treat every week, gluten-free cupcakes. So that is a way that people, and that like solidified that relationship with Gigi's Cupcakes and Granberry for me. Okay. So that is that's basically what we will do. So we're going to divide this up amongst your group members and um, let them know which, like how you would like to address it. These like column one and column two will be the same no matter what you are examining. So no matter which group you are examining, that will be the same for each of your groups. Let me give you an example for a very neat one that um, it's going to be interesting to see how this group addresses there we are, how they address Target. So people reach out to Target for some very interesting stuff. I'll just say that much. And let's, come on Google, you can do it. So it's thinking. Okay, so I'm making that a little bit larger. But people reach out to Target for interesting, interesting stuff. So this one is a reply to Ed Rodson. And this represents one tweet. Again, it did not have any retweets, no likes, no replies. So even though they, they replied to Ed, Ed didn't really acknowledge that, you know, that the, he received a response, but it did not include a hashtag, none of that. It, it is in English. So it says the liquid soap doubles as a dish soap and an antibacterial soap, hand soap. So you can keep your hands feeling fresh while also taking care of grease and suck on foods, food with ease. This sounds like a commercial. Leaving your dishes sparkling clean. We'll be sharing your feedback for labeling that is more clear. So they are providing updates. They are um, addressing his anxiety, which he probably said that, you know, this soap performs one function and not the other. And then, um, it does say, it does not mention sorry. It does not mention a direct message. It does not mention email um, or any of that good stuff. So it is not mentioning any of those items. One thing I will do for this group is, let's see. Okay, so it does not mention any of those items. I also included the same thing that I had on the other spreadsheet. And also I need to update this one with, so I will do all of the top columns for you, but I will also mention, insert one to the right. I will also mention um, forwarding. 
So like they're forwarding the response to another department. So I am copying this and I will place this on the other document. And also I'll update the, the ones for that document as well. So this one said that they are forwarding that to another department. So that one's good to go. So again, I said target is very unique <laughs> and you will see why. Okay. Here is another one. And remember I wrapped those tweets. So I'm wrapping this one again. Oh goodness. That sounds good. Oh my goodness. I mean, whoever is responding to this tweet, these tweets is on point because this is amazing. So thanks for loving our Archer farm, sweet Cajun trail mix and the roasted corn kernels. Fun shopping is to find your favorite item like the season, oof, the season corn kernels. <laughs> so we can share this with our merchandise team for future assortments. Which store do you shop at? Enjoy your evening. So that's a one definitely. It did not receive any likes. It did not receive any retweets. It did not receive any replies. No hashtag. It's in English. Um, not really public anxiety. Not really providing updates to the public. It's not really a crisis. But they did say that they, uh, let's see that they wanted a reply. So I will also update this, insert one to the, insert one to the left, and I will update these on the spreadsheets. Requesting a reply. And I will also update the numbers. And, oops, not that one, this one. And they are also, they didn't say sorry. They, that was a suggestion. They did say that they're forwarding it to another department, but they didn't include a name or initial. So yeah, so that's what we're doing. It's really kind of cool. And um, just, for, just for kicks, let's look at one more Target tweet because Target is interesting. Okay, so I'm assuming someone from Stephenville said that they wanted a target. No, just kidding. So this represents one tweet. It did receive a reply. Um, no hashtags, no language focused tweets. It doesn't really focus on crisis, but it did say um, it did request a reply. It did say that they are going to, it was a suggestion. And they also are forwarding that to another department. But yeah, there you go. Easy peasy, guys. Easy peasy. So let's see how many target tweets. I'm pressing the Control F key, or if you're on a Mac, it's the Command F key. And I am looking for any tweets that mention October. So this one had 162 tweets during the month of October. And United had like 300, but I'll help you guys. Okay, so that's it. If you have any questions, please let me know. Thank you so much for joining in today. Um, let's see, I am checking the, I'm che checking the feed. Hey, Aisa, I'm checking the feed and let's see, I want to propose a question to you guys, but let's see if I can do it. So I'm publishing that one. Um, so there's a question, is your, problem usually resolved on social media. And also I'm publishing a question about, uh, have you ever reached out to a brand account? Let's see. And if you've done either of those, just let me know. But that's it. I hope you guys are having a good day. We're going to end this live video. Write questions um, down below so we can help you guys. And that's it. Have a good day and don't forget to share this video out if you think that someone um, would benefit from the information.